So my name is Erin and I've been interviewing for five years. I'm about to start my sixth um, cycle with Initial View. I just really try to communicate to the student before we even start recording that this is a conversation that I'm excited to have, that I'm not looking to like ask any trick questions. I always make sure to tell students before we record, you know the answers to all of these questions already <laughs> because all the questions are about you. Um, so I'm not looking for anything specific. I'm just learning to wanting to hear about the things they love. And so that's sort of how I decide what questions to ask is by watching the students eyes and their body language and what they seem to get excited about. Um, you can tell when it, when someone's excited to talk about something and then we follow that trail. So we're not looking to um, find some kind of tricky, um, something they hadn't thought of. We're looking to, I'm looking to talk to them about things that they love. To be for the student, you want the student to really shine. Um, and admissions officers want the same thing. They want to see kids that, students that shine. And so we are all trying to do the same thing. We're trying to find the thing that makes the student tick, that makes them passionate. So um, by not going into a, an interview with like really clear expectations, thinking I want the student to tell me this, I go into it thinking, what is the student going to tell me that is exciting and interesting? And that's what admissions officers want to know, but that's also what students are most excited to talk about. Um, so I think it helps them to look good, <laughs> um, but it also um, yields just a much more rich conversation for admissions officers to be able to figure out who they're really admitting to their university. The application system in general asks them all kinds of non-challenging questions like, what do you do? What classes have you taken? Um, so in order to stand out from the crowd, from the, all the kids who are applying to school, then um, the challenging questions are what show the way that they think and who they are and their personality and their interests. Um, and those kinds of questions usually yield the answers that make them memorable. Um, if we ask kind of boring everyday questions that um, every single person asks, then all the answers would sound the same. So if they wanna stand out, then they have to answer really interesting questions. So um, I've definitely had students when we've said goodbye and I say, okay, I turned off the recording. They go, oh, a huge sigh of relief. Um, and I've also had students say, you were so much nicer than I thought you were gonna be. <laughs> Or um, I really enjoyed talking to you or like, I'm glad I got to talk about my project or I, I kind of, it went faster than I thought. I just kept talking about what I like and then it was over. Um, so it didn't feel long and drawn out and, and stressful once you get going, it's surprising how quickly it's over. Um, so I've definitely had a lot of like great positive reactions of students who felt like that was easier and more fun and went faster than I expected. My advice for an interviewee would be to find the thing you're most passionate about and have spent the most time doing and then talk about it with a smile on your face.